Vision Works was. All the displays are just completely empty. There's no pictures. Looks like there's a toy store, but it doesn't appear to be open. I'm not sure yet what it's called. But here's a directory, and we're going to see what is here and what is sadly gone. The old Sears. Dillard's Palais Royal. Fortis College, I think, took over an anchor. That might have been where the Macy's was. And we have Edwards Theater. And then one right here that does not have a name at all. Towards the end of this video, we are also discussing the, um, there's a ghost story associated with this mall. So stay tuned for that towards the end. Got toys for you. The arcade. You can see all the ink. Oh wow, it's so empty. They are closed up. What is this called? Bueno Baby. And you can see that they're closed. And this is a Saturday where most stores would be open. Look at the ceiling store, <laughs> obviously. Everything's still in the displays, but it's so empty. Extra 20% off. Brow art. So they used to do eyebrows in here. clothing store. Look at that window. I don't know if they had water damage or someone just couldn't reach high enough to clean it. So it's a uniform. It looks like uniforms. Yeah, uniform zone. And right across is American Contemporary Furniture. Put your your penny or coin. We usually did pennies in here and then watch them spin around into the middle. You can see like all the stores are gone. It's sitting area. Yeah, there's an old smoothie shop. But I do appreciate these murals. Very southern Texan <laughs> ranch style. Salon Oasis. And this one doesn't have a name, so I have no idea what it used to be. Oh, 
almost looks like a children's store for clothing. This is a new anchor called Crazy Boss, which I believe took over, it looks like it used to be the Dillard's, I'm not sure. Champs is still here. Let's go look at this smoothie shop. I'm not sure why this one isn't working in operation because I see a few people here walking but I'm sure that they would love a smoothie. Just like at Greens Point where they had the pretzel thirsties spot. Looks like they filled them all up with fake plants though. They have a very plastic feel to them. This one doesn't have a name on it, but it was a jewelry store. But we are right here at Jacob Accessories, which looks like an old Claire's. Or icing? Who remembers that? Champs. Sports. I'm not sure if they're open. I can't see the door. Yes, they are open. Smoothies and creamery. This place is completely boxed up. Diamond modern furniture. Everything's boxed up. The ceilings are in far better condition here than they were at Greens Point. I don't see any rust or water damage. The children's play area that they have closed down. I have seen something similar like this at Katie Mills Mall, which we will explore that mall in a later video, as it is not part of our Dead Mall series. Another empty display. The cushions here are all torn up. Oops. <laughs> the rails. Oh, and that skylight. It's in lots of skylights throughout this one. But see, you don't see any rust damage. So someone is upkeeping this mall. It's where you can get photos printed out and framed for you. And here we're at the Dillard's Outlet. Next door to the Dillard's clearance is Flo's Tailors. Not sure if we're going to be able to see it through because it's frosted. A little bit, I think. There we go. Now this section of the mall smells very, very dusty. It has a very old smell to it. You can see this, but this Dillard's clearance also has a shoe, like a huge shoe display right here. It's incredible. Nothing but shoes. It goes all the way down there. And then on this side is dresses and ladies wear. A Daisy Perfumes 
stop it. Why are these empty kiosks? Now this perfume store is open. Fashion, image, trend, fit babe. And we can see this one is gone. <laughs> oh, this is neat. All you need is love and coffee. <laughs> Words that I live by. This is a yoga therapy. Heart of Science in Yoga. And here is the food court. Now what's special about this food court is it actually has a fireplace right in the middle, which I always thought that was so amazing. This actually used to be an old Arby's, which was converted to a wings bar. It's a Roman's Delight, which is in far better condition than it was at Green's Point. It have tiles all around as well. And I don't think Greens Point had a little back entrance. So they had a little bar and a nicer kitchen, sink area, a bar. Mall from Greens Point is some of the food court areas are operational. Like China Max is open in Senior One, and it's the same mural design as in the entry. And I believe this was put in in the 1990s. Now, West Oaks Mall is 37 years old. She was built in 1984, and her information will be in the description below. Lots of chairs and tables. There's a dance school where I used to be. I'm not sure if they're still open, but they do have a walk on the tour, which lets me know that they probably are not open anymore. Cochlan Handmade Rugs, just next door to the dance school, completely gone as well. Now this one has some water damage, missing some of their ceiling as well. It's a hair shop. You can buy all your wigs and hair extensions and accessories. This was the Nutty Pavarian. Oh, look at that. They sold all kinds of nuts here. And fudge. That was very 90s. The last time I saw a place like that was in Nevada. Yeah, look at that. You can see where they roasted the nuts as well. A Cajun grill. Looks 
like it's similar to the one at Greenpoint as well. Items cook to order. Barbecue trifecta. Oh, and they had cheesecake. Memorial. Okay, I guess this is where they store go-karts. Tour the mall. sure when they open up. It seems like they're not completely closed. They still have all the um, bowls and everything. A mural of a display. Up still here. And a Ace King CDL Academy. I do know one of the anchor stores here was converted to a school, but I'm not sure what kind of school it was. Yeah, right here where you can host events. It's a venue spot. The vacation store is still here too. Contact Karen for your business needs. This one has a complete mirror back. Displays. And another dead store. But I don't know what the name of is. But if y'all know and y'all been to this mall and know the name of these stores, please let me know in the comments below. So along the street is roughly the area that you will see the walking phantom. He's supposed to walk across the street right there. I believe the story is he is allegedly a victim of a motorcycle accident. But there's nothing more else that could be found regarding the specter. Little trivia ghost <laughs> story associated with the mall, which I thought was kind of interesting. We will see you guys in our next video. Thank you so much for watching.